Glad to have you back for another episode of Inside Asset Management. Over this series, you learned about the asset management industry, heard about some of the roles that you can consider, and met some of the people who do them in real life. If this sounds appealing and you want to apply, what do you do? Well, keep watching, because in this episode, you meet two recruiters from JP Morgan Asset Management and find out how to get your foot in the door of this industry. Can you start by telling us what you do exactly? Hi, I'm Seldrick, and I head up campus recruitment for JP Morgan Asset Management across North America. Hey, I'm James, and I do what Seldrick does, but for all of you. We host lots of events, both in person and virtually, to attract young people like you to apply to the firm. Our job is to find the best new talent out there and help you understand all the benefits of working here. Okay, great. Let's say I attended an event and I think I have what it takes. What's the best way to apply? There are two main ways to apply for a role in asset management. The first is a program, like a summer internship or analyst program. And the second is looking at open vacancies. Good to know there are a number of avenues to get into the asset management industry. Now, can you tell us more about the programs? One of the most common paths into asset management is to complete a summer internship or an analyst program. A summer internship are for those of you in your penultimate or junior year of university or college, where you'll join a team for a couple of months during your summer holidays. And don't worry, interns aren't fetching coffee 24 seven like they do in the movies. No, you'll be an integral part of the team and will play an important part in supporting them. It's a great way to learn about the industry as well as hone some of the skills you'll need in your career. Analyst programs are for those who have completed their degree. These are structured two or three year positions where you'll learn about the business and gain the foundational skills required to kickstart your career. Summer internships can be a feed into analyst programs, but you can also just apply directly for these. FYI, for both the summer internship and analyst programs, applications open around July or August for roles starting the next summer, so plan ahead. It's also worth noting that there are programs for people joining at many different stages of their career and from specific backgrounds, such as military and athlete transition programs. You can find details of these on any Asset Manager's Careers website. It's fantastic, there are so many inclusive programs out there. What is the other route to apply for that you mentioned earlier? The second way to apply for a role in asset management is simply by looking at current vacancies on an asset manager's careers website. Here, there will be roles for all levels of work experience. The way it works, any manager who has an open vacancy within their team will post the job on their careers website. The job's posting will describe the role as well as outline the skills and experience required. You can apply directly here too. The hiring manager will review all applications, meet with candidates through the interview process, and decide who is best suited for the role. It's worth noting that at large firms like JP Morgan, there are often thousands of roles open across the company and around the world, so you will need to filter the list down to your areas of interest and experience level. So to sum up, whichever route I take, I have to go on a website, find a program or open vacancy, and apply. So James and Seldrick, what are you looking for in an application? There are three main things we look at, education, skills, and experience. But it's worth noting that this is all done with an open mind. For certain roles, there will be specific qualifications or education that you will need. But as you will have seen from our previous episodes, there are a whole range of roles available for all educational backgrounds. For skills, we look for individuals with a good attitude and the ability to learn. But in all roles, you'll learn and be trained on the job. Experience-wise, if you're just at the start of your career, we're not expecting you to have loads of industry experience. But we do look for things in your life that have prepared you for the role and show a genuine interest in the work. That might be a part-time job, work experience, hobbies, or your family life. Got it. If you like what you see on my application and I make it to an interview, what are the secrets of success? If you get through to an interview, the most important thing is to be prepared and be yourself. Think carefully about why you want the exact job you applied for and why you specifically would be good at it. 
It might seem daunting, but remember, everyone in the room has been in your position before. And you are interviewing us as much as we are interviewing you. So make sure you come with questions. Okay, one last thing. Today's job market can be competitive, so what can I do to stand out from the crowd? Watching this series is a great first step. If you want to deepen your knowledge, check out the website theforage.com. Here you can develop your skills and gain a real understanding of different roles by working through these interactive learning modules. It's a really good way to prepare for an interview and show your interest. Finally, be proactive. Go speak to your teacher or career advisor and do some digging into the industry. There are insight programs and events hosted by us. Come say hi. Career sessions, podcasts, and plenty of reading materials available to help you. I hope you found all this helpful. And be sure to check out our website for more information. And remember, whichever program or vacancy you're applying for, make sure to get your application in as early as possible to give yourself the best chance.